Okay, you are here, part three. We're doing swatches. It's a lot of fun. We're learning new things every time we do swatches. Here, we're going to learn some new things. And uh, let's see what we did so far. Now, we uh, part one, we um, talked about learning about colors, sometimes just uh, doing some little bit of studies um, on colors and um, the different properties of paints and if they're transparent and opaque and um, I showed some uh, cutouts uh, or cut sheets on um, some uh, swatches and palette um, uh, uh, diagrams of palettes and colors so um, please check that out on part one. Part two, part one we started our ocean painting as well and um, so on our ocean painting here we we noticed that um, we could we could label these once we pull all the tape off. You can see I have this all taped off and I go over this in part one and part two. Um, so we won't go into that again, but you know you can label what colors you used in each of your swatches. These are just fun. Now does this make sense? Um, can I can I make a suggestion? Swatches and these kind of things, small compositions, they should be fun. You're practicing, you're you're loose, you're not worrying about if it's a, a finished painting and if you're going to make a mistake on it or whatever else. They're just for fun. And you learn a lot about um, the paint, the water ratio to paint ratio, the uh, tonal values from darks and lighter colors and tones, um, brush strokes, how we're using our brush. We're making some water ocean waves here with our brush. Here we're doing longer parallel strokes for the ocean along the beach. Um, here's like more of a close-up of the ocean out maybe deep in the ocean and there's some wave action and we're getting the capturing the feel of the waves with the brush strokes, bigger brush strokes. Here's long, longer brush strokes. So we, we're always learning with these swatches. So please try these at home. Um, just have fun with them. Totally loose, you know, relax. There's no no pressure at all. Just have some fun with it. Try these and make up your own. You know, you can find pictures of things in magazines or online or in art books and stuff and you can practice different things. Um, Close-ups of different sections of paintings. You can always take a little small section of a painting and do one of these. If you find you want to, if you find one part of a painting really interesting, you can just zoom in like in a sense and just try one part of a painting in a small swatch like this. So um, let's see what if I did anything different. Okay, while while I was away and my videos were uploading, I kind of did a little bit of, uh, I added some titanium white to this area here along this horizon line so that it, it gives the feeling of a reflection of the, the more golden yellow uh, w um, weeds and, and brush along this shoreline of this lake. So here we said we had a nice lake color, the darker lake feel, darker water, um, and then when this once this completely dried, I took some um, titanium titanium white with a little bit of yellow ochre. So I put a little bit of yellow ochre on the, the tip of my brush and put it into the to the white and make the, make that white a little bit warmer. Titanium white is pretty much a straight white. Add a little bit of yellow ochre to it. It gives it more of a warmer feel, warm light, sunlight. And then I just add a little bit here along this shoreline to give it a feel of reflection of the lake. A nice calm lake with some reflections in the water and then darker over here. And uh, so that's I did that here. I added a touch. I think I did a couple little highlights with this. Just one or two. Um, go very sparingly with uh, highlights like this. I really wouldn't do them too often at all, but once in a while you can add just a little tiny bit of highlight like this in, in certain areas. And um, okay, so now we're pretty much caught up here. We're we're going to start our final uh, swatch for now, and um, we're t we're talking water. Um, so we did right along the ocean at the beach area. We did a, a nice lake scene here, the darker feel of like a lake or pond with the darker water, murky, muddy, um, some uh, trees in the background and then a nice uh, shoreline with some golden color uh, shrubs and, and grasses and that reflects into the pond and we made our horizon line. I also added a little bit of uh, burnt umber here along this 
um, her, this um, line, this water line here, um, to break up the white. So it makes it a little more interesting if I go with a little bit of white, a little bit of burnt umber mix here, a little bit of the mix from the palette, white, some more white, and then, you know, if we break up that line a little bit, it looks much better than just going with one straight line across of white. That, that wouldn't look so good. So we break up these lines here. Um, same thing over here. You see how we break up these lines here? There's no one continuous line anywhere. It's kind of all broken up. That's how you would see it if we were in real life looking at the ocean. There's waves and things happening and waves crashing and um, you'd have those you'd have those broken broken lines here and there all the way through and some splashes to make it look interesting like water and then here again we have our ocean the, the flow of the waves and so now we have those three and let's do one more let's uh, so we have a pond lake type feel in the ocean let's see let's do Let's take a look here. Maybe we'll do something a little more. Um, this might be more of a painting. Uh, it depends on your style of painting. I know everyone has everyone has different styles. Um, here at my uh, YouTube channel, you, you notice I have more of a um, more of like a classic, you know, real realism type painting style. Like I don't get too you know, abstract with things, but if you, if you like to paint abstractly, that's, that's great too. So here I'll just maybe come up with maybe just a little idea of, um, maybe something just a little more abstract. So here we'll go with a horizon line here and then maybe just, uh, maybe some mountain feel, mountain feel here. And then maybe we'll go with some, uh, so now with the palette here, I think it's time we can we can clean up a little bit on our palette. So let's spritz the palette a little bit. I'll make some room over here on the left side, and we'll re we'll reuse some of the paint on the right over here. So I cleaned up a spot on my palette here, and okay, I think I'm going to go with some. Some burnt umber, burnt sienna, raw umber, um, some French ultramarine blue, and some viridian green. And I'm just going to put in some mountains here. Okay, this might have a little more of an abstract feel to it. I'm not going to get super detailed, but and then we'll go into some of that viridian green and blue. And I'm trying to get like a nice kind of a grayish green feel. Maybe a touch of sap green. bit of a, a, a muddier green there. So I'm kind of getting a nice greenish blue and then I, I muddied it up a little bit with some burnt umber and some f a darker blue like some French ultramarine. Have fun when you're doing these swatches. This is the time to fool around with mixing colors and things. Like you wouldn't want to start experimenting too much if you're working on a finished painting. Does that make sense? But here when you're having fun doing swatches you know you can fool around with mixing colors together and things like that and it's not going to be a really big issue at all but if you're trying to do a really nice finished painting or something it might be a problem trying to do it at that time so it's now's the time to really have some fun don't worry about it you go in and just uh, okay I'm again I'm gonna leave that white line between the between the mountains because I just painted those mountains if I was to touch this this paint here to those mountains it would all bleed in and make all dark splotches and blossoms and balloons coming into this this area here so let's keep that space there for now but we can go back in of course and all right I'm gonna go with a little more a little more green here I'm gonna leave a little bit of so here we're gonna see a little more of the water feel for the water the this little bit of the feel of the water okay so that's another 
this could be like a uh, like a harbor where it's not too the water's not too uh, turbulent and not a lot of wakes or it could just be a very calm day on the ocean this could be an ocean I guess or or maybe a um, harbor or a bay bay area and then we can add a little darker color in there this has to be done fast to get that in there you have to do it right away you can't wait too long so I'm this is a very fine smooth paper too this is a, a, a fine grain paper like a smooth uh, satin this is a satin paper so this is really tough to work on when you use rough paper it's a little more forgiving you can work on it a little more and touch things up but with very fine paper the uh, satin uh, style paper you almost have to get things done with like one one uh, one wash and not uh, fool around with it too much and get it get it roughed up too much it gets a little bit so here again I'm doing a little darker and this is where you we just we experiment a little more we go in with a little darker color a little darker blue and then we can get a little more again moving the brush like that like the water this is where you gotta be kinda fun have get loose have fun uh, fun time here just swaying the brush around a little bit so here we would we would see the water like this closer up closer to us in the foreground but we would not see that in the distance the distance is more we're not going to see too much detail as you go further into the distance of this painting so more the the front you know the, the closer you are the more detail you see as the painting drifts back into these distant mountains you're not going to see as much detail there okay so that's looking pretty good um, maybe we can do some clouds let's let's use a little bit of that darker brown and uh, goldish color maybe we'll make the sky a little more like kind of overcast and it kind of matches we'll put some cerulean blue in here maybe so we'll take a little bit of cerulean blue and we'll mix a little cerulean, cerulean blue in that mixture and again it's some of the burnt umber and burnt sienna And we can get creative with the clouds. Clouds a lot of times are parallel. So we can kind of just put parallel lines across. Then we can uh, add some maybe some French ultramarine blue in the up here. Up there a little bit maybe. a little bit of that blue color in the mountains and then maybe just a touch of uh, cat orange or along the horizon line on the mountain areas this is where you might want to let it dry I'm just trying to experiment here this looks okay I think I can so we're getting a little bit of that warmer color along the horizon line here some cat orange just a really little touch of cat orange I think I I put it right here just a tiny bit of cat orange with a little bit of the um, other colors left on my brush I guess or whatever so it's not quite pure cadmium orange but it but if we put that along the mountain base of the mountain tops that gives a nice feel of uh, the horizon line in the background there along the mountains and that looks pretty good we could put a little reflection underneath these mountains maybe we'll do that we'll th let this we'll let this dry just a little bit here and see if we can get a reflection of this mountain underneath on this uh, underside where the water is and that feels pretty good actually that that feels pretty dry right here on this uh, section here that we did before earlier so always test your test your areas that you're working in remember we're you know is, does it make sense to test you know touch this a little bit with your finger just to see if an area is wet if it's really wet still don't bother painting into it but if you feel it's dry you can go back in and, and work in there so that little test here and there sometimes with your finger just to touch the paper you can sometimes look at it too you can kind of really look